hopefully you got the answer of this question which I uh, posed in the last video so this is the last uh, example that we did so now here you have to do the opposite of product rule which is the quotient rule so let me write the quotient rule the quotient rule quotient rule quotient rule is like this quotient rule uh, is basically the product rule but I'll not go into that it's a very elegant rule so if y is equal to u over v so you've got two functions Here you can compare your u with 5x and v with x plus 5 then the quotient rule says y prime is u prime times v minus u times v prime but the only difference is it's v squared okay we can prove this but uh, it should be there in your formula sheet so when i say prime or dash this is nothing but the derivative this is nothing but dy by dx okay and this is say just for v dash is dv by dx okay so this is the rule so let me change color so i'm going to let y let u is equal to 5x okay which implies u dash is equal to 5 okay the differentiation of 5x is 5 and if v is equal to x plus 5 this implies v dash is equal to 1 so it's easy differentiation so let's use the rule so i'm saying f of y prime let us apply the formula u dash what's u dash u dash is 5 times v v is x plus 5 you have to be super careful of not making any mistakes minus u which is 5x times v dash what's v dash v dash is 1 over v squared your v is x plus 5 it's x plus 5 squared okay so let's simplify the numerator therefore y prime is equal to 5x 5 times x is 5x and 5 times 5 is 25 minus 5x over x plus 5 over x plus 5 squared over x plus 5 squared so you can cancel cancel 5x and minus 5x so we are left with y prime is 20 it should be squared here so it's 25 over x plus 5 squared and if you have seen my previous video I have shown you how to check your differentiation or the derivative function so now I'm going to ask the question what is the gradient function or what's the gradient of this function at x is equal to 0 so before doing that it's always good to check whether the function is defined at 0 so the function is defined at 0 because when x is 0 y would be also 0 I think so so let me we'll check that so let me use a different color so y prime at x is equal to 0 you have simply put 0 into this equation which is 25 over 0 plus 5 squared which is 25 over 25 which is 1 okay so we are saying the gradient function of this given function is 1 when x is 0 so let's check that on the calculator so go menu and go to table okay and before go typing in the equation go to setup and see whether the gradient function derivative is on it's it should be on so if, if it's off like this you, turn, you have to turn it on and then you go to exit and you have to type in the equation for the function which is 5x divided by x plus 5 okay and close the bracket and go to your set 
I will I'll, I'll start from 0 to 5. I'm only interested at x is equal to 0. So when x is 0, y is 0, and you grade in this, 1. So you should be very happy with yourself. So you can give yourself 2 stars. Okay, moving on to the next question. This question is where you have to find, <coughs> You hopefully you should have done this, find the local maximum of, I should use the pen tool now. Okay, find the local maximum. Find the local maximum of the cubic function y is equal to. Okay, and explain how you know it's a maximum and not the minimum. So first, uh, let me give you a review of uh, the maximum or minimum. So let me draw a, a function, a cubic function. Suppose a cubic function. This is not the exact cubic function. Suppose this cubic function will look suppose, somewhat like this. Okay, I'm just this is not exact graph. So this is because it's x cube, it goes up, down, and up. So yeah, this is a this is the maximum. This is the maximum, and this is the minimum. This point is the minimum. So you should know that at maximum or minimum dy by dx is 0. dy by dx is 0. That means if you draw a tangent at this point, okay, it's not exactly, uh, suppose if you draw a tangent, I'll draw a rough tangent, a tangent at this point has a gradient of 0. Similarly, a, the, if you draw a tangent at this point, the gradient of this line is also 0. So at maximum or minimum, the the gradient of the gradient at that point is zero. Okay. Now, how do you decide whether it's a maximum or minimum? Is by finding the second derivative. So, if you find the second derivative, d squared y by dx squared. At this point, d squared y by dx squared is less than zero. Okay. At maximum, it should be less than zero. And this is how I remember. Now, at this point, if you, if you look at the rate of change of change, it is continuously decreasing. Okay, here you have a greater, uh, here you have a gradient, and at a particular uh, gradient, and as you go further, the rate of change of change is, is decreasing. Okay, so at maximum, the second derivative, so we can say at maximum, the second derivative is less than zero. And at minimum, you can say, if you look at the, suppose this point uh, is called the point of inflection. This is a very crucial point, point of inflection. From this point, if you look at the rate of change of change, it's continuously increasing. From this point, from this point, the rate of change of change or the gradient of the gradient is continuously increasing. So we can say at the minimum, d squared y by dx squared, is greater than zero at minimum. So these are the information, or these are the results you sh you should know. Basically, they are asking you to find the second derivative. Okay, and you can find the second derivative only from the first derivative. Okay, so let's write the question. So let us let me rewrite the question where where y is equal to uh, where y is equal to. Let me write it again. Y is equal to x cube minus 6x squared plus 9x. So let us differentiate it. So I can say dy by dx. This is a power function or a polynomial. So this is drop the power down, which is 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay. So now I'm going to write at maximum, at max or minimum, you will know that you should know that dy by dx is equal to zero. So let's find, so let's set this equal to zero. So I can say therefore 3x squared minus 12x plus 9 is equal to zero. So I can divide all by 3. If you divide this by 3, you can divide this by 3. I'm dividing the whole thing by 3. So let me change color. So this becomes x squared minus 4x 
plus 3 is equal to 0. So now this is a simple quadratic polynomial, quadratic equation. So this is x minus 3 times x minus 1. And then you set both of them equal to 0 when x is 3 and x is 1. Okay, so when x is 3, so these are the two points where you get the uh, maximum or minimum. So we want to find whether this at this point, so let us find the y value when x is 3. So when you put 3 into this equation, okay, so let me use a calculator. So uh, you have got menu run, so you can put 3 cube uh, minus 6 times 3 squared plus 9 times 3. I'm just putting the value of 3 into the function of x cubed minus 6, 6 squared plus 3x. Uh, when x is 3, y is 0. Okay, so you can say when x is 3, y is 0. And what happens when x is 1? So I'll change the 3 into 1. So delete. I can put 1 and then delete and then put 1. Oops, so yeah, 1. So when x is 1, y is, uh, am I doing something wrong? Yes, so let me do it again. It is 1 cube, 1 cube minus 6 times 1 squared plus 9 times 1. When x is yeah x when x is one y is four, so we know when x is one y is four. Okay, you don't need to find this, but just to explain, this will be helpful probably later on. So we saw x when x is three y is zero, and when x is one y is four. Now we want to find which of them is maximum. Is this maximum or this maximum? Okay, so we know at maximum at maximum what do we know let's go back to the question at maximum the derivative the second derivative has to be less than zero so at maximum d squared y by dx squared should be less than zero so let's find let me rewrite dy by dx what's dy by dx dy by dx is x squared uh, x squared uh, minus 4x plus 3. Am I right? Yeah. So, so d squared y, you can also use this, this, uh, and the uh, one, okay, let me write that. This is also fine. So, let me write. Uh, d is, the y by dx is 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. So, you have to find the second derivative. So, d squared y by dx squared. So you have to simply differentiate this <laughs> gradient function which will give you the second derivative which is 6x minus 12. Okay, so let me find d squared y by dx squared uh, dx squared when x is equal to 3. Okay, so this is 18 minus 12 is greater than 0. So this is not not the so here you can see if you want don't want to say negative what is this when when do you have at greater than zero this point is your uh this point is your minimum okay so this point is your minimum okay so let me find d squared y by dx squared of at x is equal to one which is uh, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 minus 12 is less than 0. So this is your maximum. Okay, therefore we can say uh, uh, maximum is at 1, 4. Y as, as d squared y by dx squared at x is equal to 1 is less than 0. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I'll continue making more videos. I want you to look at this question, differentiate two 
cos sec 5x and also look at this question okay we, we want to find the gradient of the tangent of this function at negative 1 3 i'll do these two questions hopefully in the next video see you